Hey guys, Scott here. Today I want to talk about my boy Larry, Singularity, a new killer in Dead by Daylight that apparently just no one plays anymore or ever did to begin with, and I'm really curious as to why. Now, with killers like Skull Merchant, I understand why no one plays them because they're just really boring and also weak on top of that, but Singularity is actually a pretty decent killer. I'd say he's like the absolute bottom of A or top of B tier in terms of strength. Um, now, he's not easy to play, but for the most part, I think he's a pretty solid killer. He's fun to play when you learn how to play him. He's just overall a good time. And yet, I think I've gone against two singularities, like, in my life since the PTB. So, I kind of want to go over why I think that's the case, why we aren't seeing a lot of them. And I think a lot of it boils down to, well, it's really a couple of things. First up, he's not really easy to play. He's definitely one of the harder killers in the game to play. You have to be very quick with, uh being able to shoot your camera, then you have to be quick with shooting your camera and then adjusting your camera to where you need to be aiming before they get out of line of sight. Then you need to hover over them and then you need to switch back. And during all of these switches, you need to be aware of where you are and where the survivor is during all this. And that can be very discombobulating if you're not perfectly aware of what map you're on, which section of the map you're on, which tile you're in, what type of tile it is. You know, there's a lot of variables that go into very switchly, uh, very, very switchly, very fastly switching cameras, and that makes Singularity kind of difficult to play. Additionally, there is the aspect of him that on console, he's probably even harder to play because being able to swap quickly requires very rapid mouse movement. And a lot of the time, if you're just using a stick, you can't even move your camera fast enough to rotate to look at a survivor before they get out of line of sight, so you can't track them. And so it feels worse to play on console. So not easy to play, um, not console friendly at all. He's also map dependent, but I mean, a lot of killers are map dependent. I mean, Huntress is map dependent, but she's still a fun killer to play. So that's not too much of a detriment, but I will say getting, you know, if, if your first game as this killer was on Larry's or something, you're going to have a bad time because you're not going to use your power up once. Um, but that's more a problem with maps like Larry's than it is with the killer itself. It's funny, Larry sounds like Larry Singularity. Anyway, but uh, those are probably the three main things. Other than that, I was even asking my chat today, and I th that was basically the only reasons I could see. He's kind of hard to play, and they feel like the effort that it takes to learn this killer is not equal to what you get out of it. Where a killer like Nurse, if you learn how to play Nurse, well, you get Nurse. You can ignore the game, right? Learn how to play Blight. Well, you're going to be zip-zap zooming all over the place, and you're going to be getting downs left and right here. Singularity is not quite so in your face, and that's why he's not like an S-tier killer or anything like that. But with certain builds and certain add-ons, for example... The difference between using the purple 20% reduction in the stun when overclocked add-on and not using that is very significant. It suddenly takes you from being able to just like kind of lose distance every time you transport through a pallet and break it. And with the add-on, they don't really get very much distance at all. There's also a ton of builds that are super fun on him um, that are also very good. That's one of the things I love about this killer so much is that there are so many builds that actually work on him because he's just sort of like... He's, he's he's an advanced M1 killer, and M1 killers can run a lot of builds. My personal favorite has been running the 4 Hex build, which is uh, Pentimento, Devour Hope, Haunted Grounds, and Undying. I've been really having a good time with that. Um, and, you know, there's a, just a lot of builds. You can run, like, Hubris. I've seen Zubat running, like, Hubris and Endurance, and uh, or Enduring, and then, you know, having really good results with that. There's a lot of really good playstyles with this killer that are barely even being scratched. And again, I, I don't really know why that's the case because he is, in my opinion, really, really fun to play. Now, maybe my standards are just really low because we had Knight and Skull Merchant back to back. So at this point, I'm basically just taking anything. But I got to say, I'm really having a good time. Like, I'm not, this is no copium. I'm genuinely enjoying playing Singularity. I'm probably going to get him to Prestige 100. I think he's a really fun killer. And he's strong. He's, he's genuinely strong. I very rarely lose with this killer and I'm still learning him too. Now, that could be because survivors go against them so rarely. They also are learning how to play against them, too. But for the most part, even just with random builds, um, I do feel in control of most of my matches. Now, every once in a while, yeah, I do get, you know, a Larry's or like an RPD or something where I'm like, okay, this sucks. I can't really use my power. And then I'm like an M1 killer. Um, that's why I really love my totem build, by the way, because if I do get an indoor map, what's really hard to find in indoor maps? Totems. So you end up having Devour Hope up, and that's your power instead. So... That's why I really like that build. It basically covers your bases of having a bad map. At least you've got stuff that, you know, works with that. So that can also be really, really good. But for the most part, it seems like people don't want to play a killer that's kind of hard to learn. And then the reward that you get from learning it, people don't feel is enough, which I think comes from a misrepresentation of how strong the killer is. I think people think Singularity is a lot weaker than he actually is. 
people might still be basing their experiences off of the PTB or even the first week or two when he was out. Um, he's been buffed numerous, numerous times. EMP is the main counter that made him feel admittedly very bad to play in the PTB. They have been nerfed multiple, multiple times to the point where I think they're actually pretty balanced now. Um, the actual slowdown itself when you're using an EMP is very, very noticeable. So now survivors are stuck in the scenario where if I use this EMP, I'm going to get slowed. He's going to M1 to me and that defeats the whole point. So now I need to kind of keep this on me and but then he's going to teleport. And so there's like an interesting back and forth there. And uh, overall, I don't know. I think he's a really well-designed killer. I think he's really fun. I will admit he's difficult to play. He's definitely not easy. And if that's the deterring factor, sure. But yeah, I guess my main question to you guys is why aren't you playing Singularity? Why have you decided to just not play this guy? Because like I said, I see maybe one every three or four days. It's at this point, it's like as rare as Twins, which is crazy because Twins is miserable and this killer is actually really fun. So that's my main question. From what I got, it's he's a little map dependent. He's hard to play, not controller friendly. That's all I got. So... What do you guys got?